Hello, everyone. It's time for another Facebook Live. If you're watching me live, thank you for joining me. If you're watching this later, either on Facebook or YouTube, um, thank you for watching. It is Wednesday, March 30th in 2022. And we are playing with um, a set that is retiring and is currently on sale. So that's why I wanted to show it to you um, tonight. Hi, hey, Nancy. It will be on sale for one more day only. So tomorrow the sale ends at the end of March. Um, and a lot of things have already sold out that are retiring. This one I checked when I got home from work this evening and it was still available. So um, if you want it, don't delay. But what I'm talking about is this Savings Are in Bloom. Um, and the mini, and we're going to use that tonight, so you'll get to see it. The mini stamp and cut and emboss machine is on sale, regularly $60. It's on sale for $48. And then there are a whole bunch of bundles, hey Allison, that are on sale also. And this Wildcats is one of them. So it's regularly $43, but it's on sale for $34.25. So these are all 20% off. Last week, we used this all squared away. And made this fun card with the shimmery paper behind it. And I will announce, if I can remember, last week I forgot who won that card at the end of the video. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you what we're using tonight. So just to show you a little bit closer up. Hey, buddy. This is the Wildcat stamp set. And I haven't decided if I'm going to get rid of this one or not. I am... Um, Grew up in Manhattan, Kansas, and went to school there, so I'm a huge K-State Wildcats fan, and so uh, I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to give this one up, but I probably will. And it has these fun dies, which we're using a couple of the leaf dies and then the tiger die to cut it out, but it has some fun. It cuts out this leaf. Let me show you these leaves and the two tigers and this big one. And then it has some extra ones that are just, um, you can use just to kind of accent. Um, the other thing we're using is some of the paper. And again, this was still available when I checked. So we're using this paper and this paper tonight. But it has some nice um, foliage or floral. But then it also has, let me turn these over, some brighter colors on the other side. And then some of them have, let me just pull some of this out for you. So tigers. So it's pretty much like bright on one side. There's some leopards or jaguars. That one, paper is falling everywhere. We saw that one already. I think we saw this one. I think that was the, yeah. Now this is fun. And on the back of that. And if you didn't know this, um, on the back of the designer series paper, whoops, now they're going to make a liar out of me. Maybe I have it turned on. There it is. <laughs> like, there always is. It tells you the colors that are included in it. So if you're trying to add cardstock um, or ink to match the paper, they tell you on the back of that what it is. Oh, I forgot to share this. Let me do that real quick. Let's put that there so you have something to look at. Let me get this shared to my group in case people are looking for it there. It always takes it a minute for it to come up on my laptop. I have to hit refresh. Um, while we're waiting for that, I'll show you this. I'm going to Scoot you up just a little bit so you're not quite so close to this machine. And we're going to use it tonight, but just to show you how cute it is, it folds up. And a lot of the, um, here, I'm just going to pull out the spring mini catalog. Um, there are a lot of dies that will fit through because I think it shows you here. Oh, no, it doesn't in the spring. Okay, let me pull. Oh, yeah, it does. It does in the bundles. So if you see this little symbol that says mini, that means those dies will fit through the mini machine. So there's a bunch of them that do. Not all of them. Some of them have bigger 
um, pieces, but there are a lot that do. So um, it can be very handy. It's great to travel with. Um, I'll probably take it with me this weekend on my retreat. I'm going on a retreat this weekend. My friend Kay does one twice a year. And that is this weekend. So I will be leaving Friday right after I get off work and doing that. All right. Let me get it kind of tilted. Oh, sorry. That was kind of noisy. Bring you back down a little bit closer so you can see the stamping better. We're almost there. On the laptop and we will get stamping oh the other thing I used is this um, animal print embossing folder and I'm pretty sure it's retiring also which is too bad because it's really a fun one all right one more button and it will be shared there we go okay so let's get to stamping as always I will put um, I will do a blog after I get off done with the video. I'll put a blog out there that tells you the dimensions of everything I used. And everybody that comments on this will be in the drawing next week for it. Okay, let me make sure I'm in the right spot here. All right, let's do some stamping. So I'm going to start with my tiger. And I just have a piece, a scratch piece of white, and I am using Cajun Craze for this tiger. And I've got my, um, oh, oh no, I forgot what this is. It's like a, I don't remember. This thing. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think of the name of it. It was a long day at work today, so. Anyway, with a photopolymer, especially a, um, solid one like this, this helps make sure you get a nice, good impression across the whole thing. All right, so that's all we need Cajun Craze for. Oh, I should, no, I think I like it that And let's do our stripes. So, of course, I'm going to use Memento Black for my stripes. And I have to kind of Remember, yeah, it goes that way. So these stripes actually work on both the sitting down tiger and the walking tiger. So they were pretty smart there. And the same thing with the face. It's They have it facing the same way. So it works on both. Okay, let's see if I can do this not being right over it. There we go, some stripes, and then his face. This one will be the one harder to do without being right over it. Because I can't see where his ears are. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull this down just a little. Hey, that turned out pretty well. You know, if I messed it up, I would have given whoever won the good one. All right, so our tiger is done. But let's do our other stamping while we have our pad out. Okay, so we also have our inside. And I decided, I didn't show you that, but I decided to stamp some of the greenery on the inside. So let's do... This is um, Evening Evergreen, which is what our card base is. That's Evening Evergreen. So let's do our big, our big plant down here in the corner. Isn't that pretty? And while we have our Evening Evergreen out, I'm going to bring in this little strip, and that's what I stamped the hello on. And this is way longer than we need. We'll trim it. But while we have our evening evergreen out. All right. Now some um, soft succulent leaves. So that's the other color I used in this card. Was That's what this background is. And that's the other color in the designer series paper is soft succulent. <laughs> so we'll add some of these long. Make sure I have it going right. Right side up. 
some of these long leaf fronds. I'll do one out there. And then I decided I wanted, so let's go ahead, just grabbing my scissors. Let's go ahead and cut this down so I know where to put my leaves. So I'm just gonna cut the end off and then banner cut the end. So this is an easy way to do a banner end. You just cut in the middle and then cut each point down to that middle. Whoops. Well, there we go. All right. Get all this out of the way. And now we'll put a couple of little fronds on this, but I want them stamped off. So I want one there because I don't want it to detract too much from the, there we go. We have unavailable calls us a lot. All right, that is all of our stamping. It seems very loud down here. Okay, that is all of our stamping so we can put that away. It's like a scoring pad or, no, not a scoring, a, I don't know. Sometimes your brain just doesn't want to work. All right, so let's put our other pieces and grab the pieces I have over here. So I can put them all together because we're going to cut out our tiger now. So let me move this out of the way. It'll just make it harder. Grab my little stamp and cut and emboss machine. Plates. I may have to cut this paper down because I did do it on my big one earlier, but I know the tiger will fit through this little one. Let's get our die. And line him up. That. Put this over the top. Oh, he moved. I bumped him and he moved. And you can use washi or post-it tape so that he, things like this, you want to be sure they don't move. And then you just roll that through. And I like to hold it until I know it's grabbed. And then I can hold on to the top. And how handy is that? And now we have this perfectly cut out tiger. Okay, I'm gonna put my die away so I don't lose it. That would be terrible if I was missing one of the tigers. All right, let's put that out of the way. And now we're ready to put everything together. So let me put this up here. So I also have, these two were cut with the tasteful labels and I meant to look and I forgot to see if it's carrying over. I hope so. It is one of my favorite um, label die sets. But these were made with the tasteful labels and then this is where I did the embossing folder, the animal print. And then I cut just a couple of little plants out of the evening evergreen. So those are all of our pieces and our tiger and our sentiment. So let's start putting this together. I have my seal up there somewhere. So let's put our, look at this, they have green tigers on there too. And I think the die will cut out that one and maybe that one. It seems like it's going the other way. Yeah, maybe not. Um, but they've started doing that lately where they have designer paper and the dies will also cut out images from the designer paper. And I love that. All right, so we're just going to put this down flat. And let's go ahead and put our inside on the inside. And now 
I'll just center right in there. And that will give you a place to write because on this dark cardstock, it's really hard to write. If you have a white gel pen, you can, but it is hard. All right. So now I want to put a little bit of liquid glue on the edge of this because I want to tuck it behind my um, other label. So a little bit there. And then just kind of, whoops, that got kind of crooked. I don't think that's straight. Hold it for just a minute. And I use liquid glue on a piece that's embossed because it sticks better. When it's raised up like that, sometimes your seal doesn't um, stick quite as well. And then you can just use liquid glue on that. And we'll put that here on this right hand side and that's just going to go flat hold that for a minute and then the tiger we're going to put on with dimensionals so I just used a couple one on his head and one at the base He's gonna go right here. And then I took a tiny dot of my liquid glue. Hopefully it is cooper going to cooperate. Yep, there's a tiny dot. I'm gonna put a little bit more. And that's what I'm going to glue this little plant on with. So he just gets glued directly onto the label. Let that sit for just a minute so it will set up. The nice thing about that liquid glue is you can move it right after you put it on. So if you are if you don't want to move it, then you need to let it sit for just a minute. And then I put, so I want this to um, kind of hang over the tiger, but he's on dimensional. So I need to be sure I put dimensionals on this end. So I used mini ones here. And I'm going to put them a little closer than I did on my first card because they ended up kind of um, getting up on him and then it didn't lay flat like I wanted it to. And then I'm going to put a little bit just so that it sticks to the tiger once you put it down. So let's peel off our backs. I get them both. Yep. And this is going to hang off the edge like this. Oh yes, that's much better. See, it's much flatter. This one kind of it kind of raised up in the middle because I didn't have my dimensionals quite in the right place. And then for this guy, um, I just kind of tucked him behind that. So I put a little bit. I have green glue. I'm not going to do this right over the card. A little bit of green glue on the top at the base and then a little bit here just to hold it down. And then you can just tuck it under there and then he'll kind of stick to the tiger. So he's not flapping around too much, but I like having the ends of them free. It just gives it more... Um, Oh no, it just gives it more texture. And that's it, we're done. Now we could have added some bling. I didn't think about that. I don't know what we would add. What would we add? Oh, I know something that's going away that I hate is going away. Let me grab them real quick. If I can find them. Here they are. So these are our me metallic pearls. And they come in a package with, thank you ladies, I'm glad you liked it, uh, with gold and silver. And I think the silver would look very nice on this card. So let's just add a few. And I'm so sad those are going away because I really do like these. They're just a nice, and I think that they're fine as a masculine accent because they're kind of a brushed Metallic, where do we want the other one? Maybe right there. There we go. 
they're kind of a brushed metallic, so I think they work fine on a masculine card. Yeah, I like that. I'll have to go back and add some to my card now. <laughs> All right, that is it for tonight. For this card, let me show you. I had a few other cards that I had received either in swaps or that I made. This one I received in a swap. This is Sherry made this one. So she did a little bit of sponging behind the tiger so he would show up. This one I did playing with the um, spiral spiral die or something. I don't remember. It's just you like turn it one way and then turn it the other and then it in two different colors it does that. So I made that one and then this one I made also. This might have been for a card class if I remember right. I guess I like the Cajun Craze, didn't I? I use that on all of them. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Last week's card, the winner of this was Betty. So, Betty, I will get that sent to you. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And next week, I will have something else fun to show you. And somebody will win this card. All right. I will see you next week. Thank you, ladies.